Hi again, there's a little bit of a soft classical guitar to ease us into the idea that this is our final um, bespoke revision lesson for each individual topic as we go. And then from then on, we'll be looking at uh, sort of exam practice. Right, uh, so it's small angle um, approximations today, which is just veering onto the old trig side of things, but without getting into all the identities and stuff in a heavy way. And in fact, it's quite nice because um, everything that we need for it is in the formula booklet. And the only thing where it gets a little bit tricky is with a bit of factorizing every now and then, and maybe remembering the uh, difference between two squares. Anyway, I will run through for you and then I'll give you some math genie practice to go on with. All right, so small angle approximations in green there is our first problem find the approximate value of. Now, if you're in the exam and you're thinking, oh, I can't remember what those things are, you don't need to worry. Turn to page six of the uh, formula booklet and it tells you the following. It actually says small angle approximations and underneath that it says that sin theta is approximately equal to theta. So if the angle is very small, there's no difference between the sine of the angle and the angle effectively cos theta is a little trickier it's one take the angle squared over two and tan theta well that also is very close to the angle itself so you uh, the only place where things are going to get tricky a bit is in the cos part so looking at this first one that we've got here, all we need to do is say, right, well, sine 4 theta, if theta is very small, is going to be very close to 4 theta. And tan 2 theta, if theta is very small, is going to be very close to 2 theta. And that is all being divided by 3 theta. So then all you have to do is simplify that. 4 take 2 is 2 theta divided by 3 theta we can simplify again by dividing by theta and we get two thirds I should really have a or equal uh, nearly equal symbol there okay have a go at this next one so here it is just to start off well, obviously once you pause and given it a go yourself the first thing we do is we say it's nearly equal to and then I can do this bottom bit because this looks easier. Tan 2 theta will just be 2 theta. And that's going to be multiplied by sine theta is approximately equal to theta. And on the top, we're going to have cos of 2 theta. That's going to be a little tricky. So we've got one take. And I'm just going to put all of this in a bracket. And the thing we're going to be really careful with is negatives in a minute. We're going to replace that with one take and then the angle has got to be squared so the angle is 2 theta so it's going to be 2 theta all squared over 2 and then we can sort that out one bit at a time that is going to be equal to 2 theta times theta is 2 theta squared 1 is there then we're going to be taking 1 we're going to be taking a negative, so we're actually going to be adding whatever we get here. 2 squared is 4, theta squared is theta squared over 2. Now let's just sort that out. 1 take 1 is nothing. Got the 2 theta squared on the bottom. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I've got 2 theta squared over 2 theta squared. Well, divide anything by itself and you get 1. So that's the answer there. Here's a similar one to have a go at. Pause the video and give it a crack. You should have tan theta will be theta. So 3 times theta will be 3 theta. Take the theta and sine 2 theta. Well, that will just become what the angle is, which is 2 theta. I notice that each time I show all of my working I don't try and hold anything in my head because there's often process marks for this and 
it's easy to check your work if you do that. Take one theta away from three theta gives you two theta. So again, we've got the top and bottom being the same, which means they simplify to one once more. Here's another way they like to ask questions about um, small angle approximations. Instead of uh, asking you to work out the approximation, they tell you the answer and ask you to show how you got there. Now, quite often, I don't really like that sort of thing because I like to work it out myself. But in an exam situation, it's actually quite nice because it means that you know when you've got it right. And sometimes it can even help you work out how to get there. So we're just going to start off by writing the thing out again. And then just replacing all the trigonometry with our approximations. Putting the approximation sign in first of all. So if it was sin of the angle, it would be the angle. So sin of th three of the angles gives you three of the angle. And underneath, we're going to have theta multiplied by four theta. So that's going to give us three theta over four theta squared. Then you can divide by theta top and bottom to give you three over four theta and We have done it. Here's your next one. So pause the video and have a go at this. Just replace everything that you've got. Whenever it's the cos theta, always begin by replacing it using a bracket because what we've got is a, a complex term to put in there. So it's going to be nearly equal to, let's do the bottom bit first. I know that with tan it's just going to give us the angle and with cos it's going to give us this isn't it so one take theta squared over two take one and that is going to equal a one take one is nothing and then we're going to be taking theta squared over two divided by two theta. So when we do that, if you divide theta by theta squared, you get theta. And then if you divide a half by two, you get a quarter, don't you? So that does indeed give us that there. So the crucial things they're going to need to see is that first of all, and then that simplified. And then you can take it as read that they understand that you understand how to divide by fractions um, and the cancelling. They don't need to see all of that. OK, here's the last one of this style that I want you to have a go at before I show you a, a proper exam style question. Uh, and then there'll be some mass genie uh, examples for you to have a go at. So pause the video and give this a go just as, what, as we've done before. Right, so tan 4 theta. Well, it's always best just to write the whole thing out again, but tan 4 theta will become just 4 theta, and you've got your plus theta squared. Uh, on the bottom, we've got our 3 theta take sine 2 theta, so we can write that again as being 3 theta take 2 theta and what does that give us well it gives us the same thing on the top it gives us 4 theta plus theta squared over 3 take 2 is 1 so over 1 theta and then we can take a factor out of that can't we and divide by them both so that is enough just to say that that equals 4 plus theta all right so here's the first part of our question Pause the video and, and see how far you get. So when theta is small, show the expression can be written as 9 theta plus 2. So the very first thing to do is just copy it all out and then say what that means as it goes. Now, I'm not going to copy it all out as I know that you know how copying is done. Um, so I'm going to just carry on. And I'm just going to assume that we've got that written there. So I can say it's nearly equal to. And then instead of 4 cos 3 theta, I'm going to have 
four outside a bracket in which I'm going to put one take. Now the angle is actually three of the angle, so it's three of the angle squared, halved, and then plus sine theta will be theta, so five times that will just be five theta. And underneath that we will have one take two theta and then we need to start sorting that out so the first thing to do is expand this bracket so four times one is four um, here we're going to have a take and I'm going to write it down what I'm going to I'm actually going to have four times three squared is nine and that's being divided by two and then I'm going to have five theta and that is all over one take two theta so uh, I can have a quick little go here that will divide into that one so it'll be two times nine that's going to give me I'll put it over here um, four take two nines are 18 so 18 theta squared plus 5 theta and that's all over 1 take 2 theta that might look a little confusing at the moment and if you are confused look back at what you're trying to get to there and this is all going to be about factorizing because what have we got on the top we've got a quadratic imagine this was x and you actually had minus 18 x squared plus 5x plus 4 and you were going to factorize that the reason i'm thinking i'm going to factorize it is i've got to divide this by 1 minus 2 theta that doesn't seem very nice so if i factorize i bet this should turn up as well and this is where the question helps you sort out the answer you can put 1 minus 2 theta underneath and then our two brackets, well they should be, I'm going to want to cancel out my 1 minus 2 theta. And then to get um, negative 18 theta, that's going to be 9 theta. And I'm going to go for that being plus 2, because then that should all, and you can double check that this multiplies out, um, as it should do only two times one making four what have i done wrong hang on look back at the question i've got a minus two in there which hasn't happened and i want it to be two yes i should have had minus two in there you probably saw this didn't you as i went so if i put minus two plus five sin uh five theta there and then four minus two would be two so that should be two that should be two and then if we were to multiply that out, I do get minus 18 theta. 2 times 2 is 4, so that would be minus um, 4 theta. 1 times positive 9 would be, yep, that all works. All I've got to do then is cancel those like that. And that shows that it is 9 theta plus 2 as required. Great, so all I need you to do now is practice a bit of that by uh, downloading the um, the sheet that I put on with the three questions from Mass Genie. The answers are there as well. Let me know how you get on with that, please, and uh, send me some evidence of what you've done. Actually, before we do that, we've got... I had a part A up there, so we've got a little bit more to do before that of a part B. So that's coming right up. So here's part B, so give this a go. And there really isn't much to it. They've already told us what this is equal to. Now, often you'll have to work out what it's equal to and then use that. But it's always a one marker, this. Because we know um, that, it's when it, that it's going to be 9 theta plus 2. And if theta is small, well, 9, that means it's going to be very, very very small so um, if something is very small uh, then it, 
they're talking about being close to zero. Nine times zero is zero, so you're just going to get two. And that's all that was asking for. Right, well, have good fun uh, going through the other questions as well. Um, and next time we will be moving on to doing some exam practice. See you then. Cheerio.